Hi everyone, this is Aaron, and today we're going to talk about the brand new Mac App Store. This App Store was announced uh, at the last press conference that was held by Apple, or Kino, and uh, Steve Jobs showed it off a little bit, so uh, it's finally here. So let's go ahead and take a look at it. So in order to download it, if you don't have it already, there's a couple requirements. You need to have Mac OS X Snow Leopard. If you don't have that, you need to... Uh, either update to Snow Leopard or wait till the next release. So in order to get it, what you need to do is click on the Apple, and you're going to go to Software Update, and it'll check for new software, and once that's finished, you'll see uh, a dialog box similar to this, and it says there's a Mac update. It doesn't specifically say there is an App Store uh, installation or update but it, that's what that Mac update is so what happens once you restart and that's all installed when you reboot what you'll get is this App Store icon down here so let's go ahead and open it and it looks very similar to the iPad App Store if you've been on the iPad and used it so you have some featured things at the top you have some new and noteworthy as we scroll down you have what's hot and you also have staff favorites down towards the bottom now what you do uh, with this App Store is a quick install of all applications directly to your computer. There is no more going downloading, installing, or anything like that. And I'll show you that in a moment. But first of all, one thing Apple that Apple has done that's really nice is they have taken their applications such as iWork, and instead of buying the whole suite for $49, you can simply buy them individually, as you see here, Keynote, uh, Pages, and numbers down here. Now they all say they're installed because I do own iWork um, and you can see it's picked up iPhoto. Now it picks up what's installed for the most part. I also own Pixelmator as you can see it down in the dock here yet when I showed it or found it in here uh, I was unable to see that it was installed so I'm not sure why it's not picking that up. Either way though um, this is a pretty nice way for Apple to be selling things I think as far as ease of use. Uh, they've done some things price-wise that are really nice, too. If we go over to here and look at Aperture, which is normally $199, it's only $79.99 on their store. So that's a huge advantage for those that don't have it already and want some uh, serious photo editing program capabilities. Hopefully they do that with things such as Final Cut in the future so you don't have to buy everything. So we'll go back. And as you can see, when I clicked on that, let's do that again, when I click on Aperture 3 or any of these applications, it opens up and gives you a description, uh, gives you some license information, things like that, it gives you pictures, just like it does on the iPad. Very similar, customer reviews at the bottom, although there aren't very many since this is a new store. So I think that's a pretty nice implementation. I don't think you can buy that program on eBay for that cheap, so I think that's a pretty good deal. So let's take a look at how we install an application here we have swack it this is a free application so we'll try that click free it's gonna ask for your Apple ID this would be the same as the one for your iPad or iPhone or iPod touch click free there we go you see it just moved it from here down into the dock it installed and it's that simple now we can open the application Now I'm not gonna go into that application but that's pretty neat I think um, and it shows it quite nicely. So now that shows it's installed, one of the questions is how do we remove it? Well, at least on this version of OS 10, we can take it out of the dock that doesn't remove it, but it shows up in your applications folders here, just like any other application. So if we want to remove it, we just drag it to the trash, put in our password to delete, now it's gone. Now it doesn't pick up that it's not installed until I close the program, close uh, the App Store and reopen it then you'll see and you can see it's pretty quick too now it says free it doesn't show installed so it's nice we also have some op uh, options such as sort of like ping where it says copy link or tell friend uh, I don't know if it uses ping specifically but it's kind of neat we also have at the top we have top charts categories purchases and updates so there's some things I just purchased which I were all free um, stuff it was taking a long time so I I never finished it, but let's go ahead and install that. And 
the nice thing about this is the updates. When you click on updates, although there aren't any updates since this just came out, it'll be updating the applications just like you do with the iPhone or iPad, which I think is really nice. Now there are some concerns about this program, especially when it comes to Lion, uh, the next version of OS X, and the reason for that is we're hoping that Apple doesn't just make you go through this App Store. And the reason for that is they don't allow betas and they don't allow uh, trial versions of software, things like that so far. So because of that, the only way to get that would be to, or to participate in a beta would be to install it, how you install the older programs, which works fine, but we're just hoping they allow it. I can't see why they wouldn't, but you never know. Apple does have a tendency to lock some things down pretty good. Other than that, though, I think it's a great uh, step in making things very simple and uh, hopefully reduces the price of a lot of different applications for those of us that buy a lot of applications or review them. Overall though I think uh, I, only time will tell if this is going to be the next way of buying things on computers such as Mac and maybe see it move over to Windows. Uh, that's pretty much it I think for for uh, the App Store. If you have any questions though that I haven't answered or you're not able to try it yourself because you don't have Snow Leopard, uh, I'll try to do the best to answer those questions. I appreciate everyone that subscribed. Please comment and uh, thanks for watching. This is Aaron. I'll see you next time.